Good afternoon everyone. We're going to be looking at boulder wrappers today, which as we talk is the most popular. Um, is the most popular most downloaded? Let me just have a look at Steam. No, Steam doesn't want to load. Anyway, I, I think it's the most, not the most downloaded, but the most popular map in City Skyline at the moment. Um, it's got an even amount of resources. It's created by Scotland Tom, who has a few maps, I believe, in the um, in the top rank ones. And I've been playing it a little while. Just load it. Um, I think my city's up to twenty thousand population at the moment. So I had a, I've given it a fair a fair go. Just uh, let the loading screen load. Right. So I'll start off by saying. I'm pretty sure the only reason this map is so popular is because it's flat and has a lot of places for you to build. Um, it's not one if you want to build, if you want a challenge essentially. It's a very plain map. If we zoom out and click on this. Uh, there are some hills in the distance but your town rarely goes that far out. And this, this is five tiles here and it's mostly flat land. Um, you've got the usual motorway connection coming in, a rail line which starts, it goes down here, it's this one, um, a river to build on either side of, but generally all land here is very very flat. You start from this corner so you've got a bit of access to the river, um, obviously to uh, get your water. You've got a really fancy junction which is very nice. Now I, I believe you can download this as an asset from a workshop so if you did want to place some more, what, does it come with a map? No, it doesn't. You need to download it as a separate asset. It it works okay. But there's nothing special about it. I think. I, I think it, it it looks better than it actually is. But as you can see, the um, the gameplay it forces you to do is your standard grid builds. I've I've tried to spread mine out just just to give it a bit of variety. You've got some housing here, commercial there, high density housing. Then all these are offices. I, it, this did start off as industry. But it created a massive traffic jam. I mean, it's you know so massive my uh, my fire brigades and police uh, cars were struggling to get anywhere. So what I've done is replaced every single thing with offices, and the only thing now traveling these streets are pretty much buses, police cars, and you know the stuff you want to get around. Um, I did try and jazz up this roundabout. There's basically one bit of housing on it. I was trying to just give it services until it went to uh, five out of five, but I haven't quite managed to get there. Now, the train station, because there's a lot of flat land, you can actually, <coughs> excuse me, you can plan a train line in advance without too much issue. So I've got one coming here from the bottom, all the way up, stops at some residential there, into the commercial area, and up drop the offices. Um, and if we open up the infographic here, you can see 161 people using it. Now that's normally more than I get when I build train stations. I find people much rather prefer the subway systems, which, which I actually still have. You can see all the green lines, lots of subway stations. Now, if you look at the screenshots of people who have played this map, a lot of them do seem to like the um, the beachfront property. So, in, 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 you know, in keeping with the spirit of the map, I've built uh, quite a lot here. It goes all the way along here, all the way, all the way here. That's all high density residential. However, the game, for some reason, I don't know if someone's going to make a mod to do this. But people don't really value beachside property, whereas obviously in real life, any room with a view is obviously worth a premium. In here, it, it doesn't count for, for it counts for Diddley Squat essentially. Now, for expansion, you can obviously you, know, you, you can build out in these directions, but, but there's nothing too interesting to aim for. Um, the people with god complexes amongst you might might enjoy building dams further up and then essentially flooding your city. You might get some kicks from doing that. But what this map is really for is anyone who wants to make their city as big as possible. As big and efficient as possible. If you set up some sort of fancy grid design and you want to copy and paste that, copy and paste it, copy and paste it onto as big a surface area as possible, this is a map for you. If you get a mod for 25 tiles, I'm sure you can have a um, get a massive city. Whereas obviously in a, in a slightly tricky map you couldn't copy and paste the exact same grid pattern because nature would get in your way. You'd have a mountain or some river out of nowhere. And that's, that's all there is really to, to say on this map. There's no 
amazing features. It, it's got the usual problem where when you start off a game and you build the sewage works, it makes the water dirty, pumps it out into the sea, and even though I've had these water treatment plants for a few years now, it, it's still going to take ages for this uh, for this horrible patch of gunk to disappear. Now, traffic is traffic was relatively simple to manage. You um, stuck a few roundabouts in the sensible places, and if we look at the map, oh, it was um, right. So, going into oops, going into the commercial area is busy, but that's nothing. A few more subway stations can't sort out. Why are they waiting here? Oh no! Have I got stuck trains? I've not seen this before. Right. I got stuck trains. But anyway, that's <laughs> this is a map review. Let's not be distracted. That's my uh, that's my bad design, not the uh, map makers. So overall, there's nothing bad with a map as such. If but <laughs> then again, if you want a lot of flat land, there's other maps you can choose. Uh, now I can't remember the name off the top of my head, but there's one that came out this week that I believe it's called Copper Creek. Um, I may do the next review on it. I'm, I haven't decided yet which map I'm going to do next. But there are maps specifically designed just to have a plain map with no distractions. This throws in a few distractions, so it looks realistic. But at the end of the day, it's. Um, I can't see why you'd want to play this for more than once. There's no, there's no challenge to it. So we'll uh, leave it there and join me for my next map review. Good night.